It's week 13 of the NFL, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the reigning Super Bowl champs and the Dolphins, next on Madden NFL 22. We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Los Angeles Chargers. Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, the streak continues, doesn't it? They come in here a perfect 11-0. First down, going to get him five up to the 30. Well, this defense for the Chargers, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run with Hunt, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The numbers on the ground for Hunt a week ago. 24 carries, 110 yards in the score. Definitely productive, including scoring his 14th touchdown of the season last week. It's going to be fun to watch the matchup now because he has a nose for the end zone. So if you're a defender, what's your job? Keep him out. On second and nine, Tua. That escapes the sack. And he held on to it too long. A coverage sack, down he goes. Jerry Tillery in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that is incomplete. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. On second down, right back to Hunt. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. This one was all about clearing space for this play to work because he's got to look out the backfield to his right, then angle his way up the field. And a really pretty throw to put it on him and create the big play downfield. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And picked up by the Chargers. And he takes it back to the house. It's a fumble recovery and a Charger. Two and now on first down. And he's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Devontae Parker was the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover it before he gets going? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to pass, Tua. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down now, it's Hunt, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. The Dolphins on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. 
Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Joey Bosa in there for the sack, and that is now 21 for him on the year. Wow, what a season. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position. And even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try and protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll send you up to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there, and he'll have stats and scores from a busy Sunday in the NFL. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. The guys who are paid to make the tackles deserve some kudos there. I think they deserve even bigger ones because in that situation, they had to be thinking pass. Loosened up defense, going to pass coverage. Instead, maybe they surprised. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Powell. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Tua sets up to pass it. Throw left side, complete. That's one. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may yeah, The pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Going deep here for Parker. And that will be incomplete. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop in behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not, did not get back there. It's a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know. Mike 19, 
Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get we it up this. past the 45. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Two are going to throw. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. When you lose that kind of yardage on the pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. Final minute now of the third quarter. Throwing again on second down. Tua. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out and picked up by the Chargers. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to. Two and now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Powell. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Tua. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Ochenna Nwosu in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously, led to a very quick sack. And this came from the edge, and those pass rushers, they have so many tricks of the trade to get around blockers. They have a lot of tools in their kit. This was pure speed and athleticism on this play, though, and they could barely get a glove on him before he got the quarterback on the ground. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Tongue of Iloa going for it on fourth down. Looking deep downfield. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The Dolphins can't.
on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Jerry Tillery has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Here's Tua. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and 14. Back to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down.
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Tua on fourth down. Looks for Parker and it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. That's where they'll take over. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the <laughs> field. It feels like there's an extra. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And some room to roam now. And he'll have this past the 30 prone to going out of bounds. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. A good first down call as the screen play gets a nine. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years and not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. They got a completion there. That's clearly an example of one side happy, the other side not very happy. Defense, very <laughs> Hey, take one or two yards. We're good with that. Offense, you've got to expect to get more on the passing play. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Again, he'll drop to throw. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. Open his pal. That's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. 
This one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Chargers, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Mile High to take on the Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, the playoffs look to be out of reach. Back now on OT with KC, I'm your host, Kevin Connors, and I will tell you, I am nothing if not a man of my word. My great listeners wanted this interview for a long time now, and your boy is here to deliver. He was a star at USC. Now he's the face of the...